Today we are back with a throwback to Lawn Care on the Squirrel Farms map in FS17. We will be mowing a commercial and residential lawn. We'll be heading over to this shop in our Ford Raptor. Let's take a quick walk around before we head on out. This is a 2017 Ford Raptor Crew Cab Lightning Blue. We do have a 2 inch level kit on it with a tune to the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Today we will be using the Xmark mowers including the stand on and the Laser Z. We will also be using the 25 foot enclosed trailer with the Ram 2500. I will be trying to do throwbacks every Thursday here for all of you. I really do enjoy FS17 still and there's a lot of cool content that can still be made. I really do like the crew cab raptors here. They do look pretty cool. Hopefully we can get one of these in FS19. For these throwback videos, I do try to use mods that are not yet in the new game. I think that's also kind of a cool thing to the throwbacks and here we are. We'll have to get loaded up, get the mowers out of shop and into the trailer. Here it is guys, our 2012 Ram 2500. Now this is a work a min a train a level which is so cool, really do like a lot. And hopefully this truck uh, gets brought over. This is probably one of the trucks I have been trying to get but really couldn't uh, kind of figure it out. And that looks to be good there. We don't have a backup camera but we do a manual attaching and we just kind of uh, get attached the old fashioned way. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been a bit busy with schoolwork, but it's been pretty good. Today we will be using the 48 inch Ultra Cut Laser Z along with the uh, Laser Z 72 inch as well. So two pretty cool mowers and both of these are not yet in the new game. Now we will actually be using the stand on first, uh, so why don't we put the uh, laser Z on first. Getting up the trailer ramp here will be a little tricky with that bump, but uh, going slow should have no problem, perfect. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post every single day over there, and I really do enjoy it. Last up, we got to close up our uh, shop door, and I'll grab uh, the uh, bottle of water from the Raptor. Awesome, we got the Raptor locked up as well, and let's head on out. I really do enjoy the lawn care series here on the channel. My goal is to feature it more and more, especially in uh, Farming Simulator, uh, both versions of the game. Up first we have this uh, small, kind of old fashioned diner here that we'll use the uh, stand on for. And the goal is to do a pretty good job here and one thing I'm doing right now is having the mower deck I uh, kind of put all the grass into uh, the grass not into the sidewalk we don't want to have to kind of cause more work for ourselves by leaf blowing there and uh, and possibly if the grass is wet uh, getting wet grass all over there that's not a really good thing Let me know down below in the comments guys, what is your favorite mower here uh, that I've used and what's your favorite one, uh, maybe uh, one that you use uh, to mow your yard. Now this upcoming spring I definitely want to do some more real life videos with lawn care, landscaping, projects around the house that I think would be awesome.
Now I think one thing we will be trying very soon is lawn care in GTA 5. They do actually have some zero turns in there, some cool trailers, and some trucks, and I think that would be a pretty interesting thing to do. Now the goal this summer more than likely will be to build a new map for uh, FS19. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I built the uh, Square Farms map, the mowing map, and a few others. And I think it's time now to build one for the new game. I've been trying to work through the changes and updates uh, so that I'm ready uh, to go for it. And hopefully uh, we can do that uh, this summer. Perfect. So that looks to be good there. We'll get loaded up and go do a residential. Now this is one pretty cool setup we do have here, work truck with the enclosed trailer. Now usually you could just leave the mowers in the back of the trailer and I kind of like that as well. Maybe uh, we could start doing that at the shop to free up a bit of room. And we'll do this house over here to uh, the left hand side. We'll get the hazard lights on. Now usually you do want to put out a cone or two. And actually we got to get the uh, back wheels of the trail up off the curb. And perfect. With the lawn care company, we have over 50 different mowing accounts, and that means a lot of work here for us, really not too much of free time in the schedule during the week, and that's what I kind of like as well, keeping busy in mowing lawns. The 72-inch uh, mower here is perfect for this one. There's a lot to mow, and we do want to be as efficient as possible. Now I do want to come back to the homeowners uh, series here in uh, 17. I really want to kind of get back to probably with a new house and some new trucks and things like that. I think that would be a nice thing to do. There's a pretty cool pool here. If the temperature was a bit warmer, I would definitely want to jump in it right now. If you do have any cool throwback ideas here for me, drop it down below. I really do enjoy using your feedback here to improve the videos, and I appreciate all the feedback. It's a lot of fun as well to respond to everyone. I really uh, take a lot of time to do that, and it's something I really enjoy. Now I think one cool feature would be to kind of show the uh, stripe pattern, but that's just so tricky to do, and I actually have tried that before, a pretty unique way, and I might give that another uh, try. I think that would be just so cool uh, to kind of see those awesome stripes, and I do know that the walker mowers in real life do a good job, along with the majority of the commercial mowers just stripe really well, and it's so cool to see lawns that are nicely uh, done.
this coming spring we will get a new landscaping shop for uh, 19 which is pretty cool I already have the shop picked out many of you guys actually uh, did recommend and request me I uh, use that shop so that will be pretty cool we, and a lot more jobs to come and probably a new map by then as well I always try to change up the maps every few months uh, for each of the series This upcoming week, we will also be starting a small construction project, which I, I cannot wait for. It's going to be a lot of fun to do that, a, a little bit of learning to do, and it will be a great job, and we should be able to get it done in no time with the proper equipment. I will have to say that I really do like patio paver driveways. I think that they look so cool. And I also do like that if an area kind of settles down, you could just pick up that little area of blocks, re-put them down with a new base, and there you have it. And without the weeds growing through them, anything like that, they look so, so nice. I think maybe uh, for the house at our homeowner series, we might just have to uh, put patio pavers because I think that they really help out uh, the exterior of the house as well. That's pretty much it here for today. I was only scheduled to do two uh, properties in today's video. It's been a busy day here for us with the slow back two lawns across the town getting to some pretty cool equipment. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.